Before the world ever heard the name Bernard Madoff, before Lehman Brothers came crashing down, there was Jerome Kerviel, France's rogue trader, the world's biggest fraud perpetrator in the history of banking. And uh, it sent shockwaves through not just France, but through the whole banking sector here in France and the second biggest bank in, in uh, specifically uh, Societe Generale. Now, in less than an hour, in the courthouse you see behind me, a judge is going to be handing down a verdict that could send further shockwaves through France's financial system. It all depends on the way it goes. Has Jerome Kerviel, the so-called rogue trader, managed to persuade the judge that Yes, he exceeded his trading limits. Yes, he built, he built up enormous speculative uh, positions against his very own bank. But his bosses knew all along what he was doing. And so long as he was making money for the bank he loved, they were just fine with that. Or will the judge go the way of Societe Generale and say, no, this indeed was a rogue trader in every sense of the term rogue, a man who acted on his own, in his own interest, in the middle of a trading for floor, unbeknownst to his bosses, making very big bets that they knew nothing about until it was too late.